Tayo na mag-aral sa Grade 5 Math, Quarter 1, Week 8. Solve routine and non-routine word problems involving division without or with any other operations of fractions. Learning Task 1. Subukan natin sagutan. Read and analyze each problem carefully. Number 1. There are 2 and 2 thirds pizzas. How many people are sharing when each has 2 thirds of pizza? Mayroon daw 2 and 2 thirds ng pizzas at ang maghahati ay ilan? Kung sila ay tig to 2 thirds of pizza. Ang given ay 2 and 2 thirds na hahatiin sa 2 thirds. Gawin natin improper fraction ang 2 and 2 thirds. I-multiply natin ang whole number na 2 sa denominator at i-add ang numerator. 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 2 equals 8. Magiging 8 over 3. At ang division ay gagawin natin multiplication. Ang 2 thirds na divisor ay gagawin natin 3 over 2 o ginawa natin reciprocal. Pwede tayong gumamit ng cancellation method. Ang 8 at 2 ay divisible sa 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. At ang 3 ay i-cancel natin at gawing parehong 1. Pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Numerator sa numerator at denominator sa denominator. 4 times 1 equals 4. 1 times 1 equals 1. Ang sagot ay 4 over 1 or 4. Apat na katao ang maghahati sa 2 and 2 thirds ng pizza. Problem number 2. A plastic bottle of mineral holds 600 ml of water when it is 3 pips full. What is the capacity of the bottle? Ang given ay 600 divided by 3 pips. Ang 600 ay whole number kaya lagyan natin ng 1 sa ilalim para mas mabili o denominator para mas mabilis ang ating pagmumultiply. At ang division ay gawin natin multiplication at isulat ang reciprocal ng 3 pips na 5 over 3. Gumamit tayo ng cancellation method. I-cancel ang 600 at 3. Ito ay divisible sa 3. 600 divided by 3 equals 200. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Pag tayo ay nag-multiply, 200 times 5 equals 1,000. 1 times 1 equals 1. Ang sagot ay 1,000 over 1. Or, ang whole number na 1,000, kaya ang sagot ay 1,000 ml or 1 liter. Problem number 3. Joel spent 4 eighths of his monthly salary for their groceries. After spending, he had 980 pesos left. How much is his monthly salary? Ang given ay 960 pesos na i-divide natin sa 4 eighths. Ang gawin natin ay lagyan ng denominator na 1 ang 960. Ang division ay gagawin nating multiplication. At kunin natin ang reciprocal ng 4 eighths at ito ay magiging 8 over 4. Gumamit tayo ng cancellation method. Ang 960 at 4 ay i-cancel at i-divide pareho sa 4. 960 divided by 4 equals 240. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Pwede na tayo mag-multiply. 240 times 8 equals 1920. 1 times 1 equals 1. Ang sagot ay 1920 over 1 or ang kabuang salary niya ay 1920 pesos. Pag-aralan natin ang example sa module. Mrs. Lobby baked a loaf of bread for the birthday party. It measures 18 inches long. 
How many slices can she make if each slice measures 1 and 1 8 inches long? Number 1. Understand the problem. What is us? The number of slices that can be cut from a loaf of bread. Ang hinahanap natin ay ilan ang bilang ng mga slices sa loaf of bread. Number 2. What are given? Loaf of bread is 18 inches long each and the slice of bread is 1 and 1 8 inch long. Next is to plan. What is the operation to be used? Divide the length of loaf of bread by 1 and 1 8 inches long. Visualize or illustrate to help you in this solving the problem. How to solve? Number 1, convert mixed number into improper fraction. Kapag ang given na fraction sa unahan ay mixed fraction, ito ay kailangan nating i-convert sa improper fraction. Number 2, get the reciprocal of the converted mixed number to improper fraction. Ang pangalawang fraction o ang divisor ay gagawin nating reciprocal. Number 3, multiply the numerators and the denominators. I-multiply na natin ang numerator sa numerator at denominator sa denominator. Number 4, convert improper fraction to mixed number if lowest term is necessary. Kapag ang sagot daw ay improper fraction, gawin itong mixed number at kailangan din ay nakasimplify o nakalowest term. Ang given ay 18 divided by 1 and 1 8. Ang 18 ay gagawin nating fraction, ito ay magiging 18 over 1. Ang division ay gagawin nating multiplication. At ang 1 and 1 8 ay gagawin nating improper fraction, kaya 1 times 8 equals 8, plus 1 equals 9. Ang sagot ay 8 over 9. Ang 9 ang nasa ilalim dahil kinuha natin ang reciprocal. 9 over 8, ito ay magiging 8 over 9. Gumamit tayo ng cancellation method. Ang 18 at 9 ay divisible sa 9. 18 divided by 9 equals 2. 9 divided by 9 equals 1. Pwede na tayong magmultiply. 2 times 8 equals 16. 1 times 1 equals 1. Ang sagot ay 16 over 1 or whole number na 16. Ang sagot ay 16 slices. Learning task 2, number 1. Darla needs 3 ninths cup of flour to bake cake. She added another 3 tips cup of flour to make it bigger. How much flour did she use? Ang gagawin natin dito ay addition. I-add natin ang 3 ninths at 3 tips para makuha natin ang ginamit na flour. I-add natin ang 3 ninths plus 3 pips. Ang kanilang LCD ng 9 at 5 ay 45. Isulat ang denominator na 45. I-divide natin ang denominator sa denominator at i-multiply natin sa numerator. 45 divided by 9 equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. Ganun din ang gawin sa baba. 45 divided by 5 equals 9. 9 times 3 equals 27. Pwede na tayong mag-add ng numerator. 15 plus 27 equals 42. At 45 pa rin ang denominator. Ang 42 over 45 ay may lowest term. Ang GCF nila ay 3. Pareho nating i-divide sa 3. 42 divided by 3 equals 14. 45 divided by 3 equals 15. Kaya ang final answer natin ay 14 over 15. Number 2. Fe shared her sandwich to April. Lovely ate one-fourth of the sandwich while May ate two-thirds of the sandwich. Which part of the sandwich 
was eaten by the two friends. Ang hinahanap natin ay part of sandwich that was eaten by the two friends. Ang given ay one-fourth and two-thirds. I-add natin ang one-fourth and two-thirds. Ano ang LCD ng 4 at 3? Ang 12. Isulat ang 12 bilang denominator. I-divide ang mga denominators at i-multiply sa numerator para maging similar fractions. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. Ganun din ang gawin sa baba. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. Sila ay similar fraction na kaya pwede na tayong mag-add. 3 plus 8 equals 11. 11 over 12. Kaya ang part ng sandwich na nakain ay 11 over 12. Learning task 3 number 1. Mr. Romel rents a van for their yearly out of Town. The van rental covers 100 km only, but he travels for 110 km, so he needs to pay 250 pesos for one fifth. How much is the payment for every kilometer he exceeded? Kung isosold natin, magiging 250 divided by one fifth. At kung iguguhit naman natin, ang isang one-fifth ay nagkakahalaga ng 250 pesos. Ang limang one-fifth o kabuuan ay nagkakahalaga ng 1,250 pesos. Isolve natin, 250 over 1. Ang division ay gagawin nating multiplication. At ang one-fifth ay gagawin nating 5 over 1. 250 times 5 equals 1,250. 1 times 1 equals 1. Ang kabuang halaga ay 1,250 pesos. Kung kukunin naman natin ang every kilometer, 1 pip plus 1 pip plus 1 pip plus 1 pip plus 1 pip equals 1 over 25. Kunin natin ang 1 over 25 ng 1,250. Gumamit tayo ng cancellation method. Ang 1,250 at 25 ay divisible sa 25. 1,250 divided by 25 equals 50. 25 divided by 25 equals 1. 50 times 1 equals 50. 1 times 1 equals 1. Ang sagot ay 50 over 1 or 50 pesos. 50 pesos ang extra bayad per Isang kilometer. Number two. The government needs to interview people who will be the beneficiaries of the Social Amelioration Program or SAP. They needed to interview five beneficiaries for three-eighths of an hour. How many minutes needed for each beneficiary? Kudin natin ang 3 eighths ng isang oras, kaya isulat natin ang 60 minutes na equivalent sa 1 hour. 60 over 1 times 3 eighths. 60 times 3 equals 240. 1 times 8 equals 8. 240 divided by 8 equals 30. 30 minutes. Ang 30 minutes ang 3 eighths ng isang oras. Kaya, ang 30 minutes ay paghahatian ng lima, limang beneficiary. 30 divided by 5 equals 6. 6 minutes ang bawat interview sa isang beneficiary. Kung iguguhit naman natin ang uh, drawing, ito ay sa isang box ay may 6 minutes. Ang limang box ay may 6 minutes at equivalent sa 30. 30 minutes. Ang final answer natin ay 6 minutes. Last, number 3. During phase, there is a carnival in our place. Audrey likes to ride on a carousel. The carousel takes about of 2 pips on R to finish. If there are 8 carousel horse, 
and 32 kids in front of Audrey, how long does Audrey need to wait before it is her turn to ride the carousel? Kunin natin ang 2 pips na 60. 60 times 2 pips. 60 over 1 times 2 pips. 60 times 2 equals 120. 1 times 5 equals 5. 120 divided by 5 equals 24 minutes. Ang bawat isang ikot ay tinatagal ng 24 minutes. Ang 32 naman na bata na nasa harapan ni Aubrey ay hahatiin natin sa 8. 8 na horses. Ang sagot ay 4. 4 turns o 4 na ikot. Ang 24 minutes ay imumultiply natin so, 4 turns, kaya ang sagot ay 96 minutes or 1 hour and 36 minutes. Ito ang ipaghihintay ni Obri bago makasakay sa carousel. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood at pakikinig. Hanggang sa muli!